In this lesson, I'll be showing you how to play the song Coldly Calculated Design by The Faceless. If you question the accuracy of this lesson, or would like to see a demonstration of the song, there's a link in the description that leads to my playthrough video. So the song's in drop C, and it goes without saying that this is a very difficult song, so I'm going to assume you're a pretty good guitarist and you don't need me to go through every single little detail. So I'm going to try to teach this as quickly as possible. Let's start with the main riff. The first chord is what Michael Keane likes to refer to as a spy chord. It's 8, 8, 11, 10, 10, 8. You don't really have to get that last note, but if you can, cool. So we're going to play that same shape and we're going to move back and forth. We're going to go 8, 8, 7, 8, 8, 9, 8, 8, 4. All with the same shape, so kind of like this. Okay, then we're going to shuffle from the four, three, two, and back to the three. And then tremolo picking on the four and three. Just like that. We do the first part again. So that lead part, starting on the 5th fret of the G string. 5, 6, 5, 8, 7, 4, 8, 6, and then a series of hammer-ons. 4, 6, 8, 4, 6, 8, 5, 6, 8, 10. So that lead part overlaps into the next measure. So when you get back to this riff, instead of starting on the 1, it's actually going to start on the 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then that last part is 4, 8, 4. So this next part's pretty tricky. The count is 6, 5, 6, 5, 5. It goes like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. Starting on the A string, it's one, three, down, four, three, down, two, two, six, oh, and then back to the six. Oh, oh, six, two, and back to the six, and oh. Okay. Three, three, six, two, and then back to the six. Then one. So that part's pretty weird, but it kind of has a swingy feel. Dun, 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 After that, we have a series of fives. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So that's just one, one, three, and then you add your pinky to the fourth fret and do four, three. Then we're going to do the same thing, but on the fourth fret. Repeat all that, and you go back to the main riff, and then we get to the breakdown, which goes like this. Instead of just regular bar chords, we're playing this shape here, this two, one, two. And we're gonna play two, three, two, three, five, six, five, two. Then we descend from the open G string. Play it again, but this time instead of ending on the second fret, we're going to end on the first fret with a minor triad. So that's one, one, four. Kind of like this. And then descend from the open G string. You repeat that, and then you play it again with a slight variation where you'll just keep chugging instead of descending, kind of like this. After that, we get to the solo, and I'm just going to play it really slow, but it starts on the fifth fret of the high E string. So up to the 10 there, down to 8. 
play that 8 again. And we're going to do a little trill on the 8 and 10, sliding down to the 7. Okay, down to the 6. 6, 8, 5. And then a series of hammer-ons. Next section, we slide from the 14 to the 15, and then go to the 11, 14, 10, 11, 12, and then a series of hammer-ons. And slide up to that 18, 19, 19, and then 21. Then we've got this riff. So what's neat is it's all the same position. It's three and four, five and six, and nine and 10. But what's gonna happen is as we're playing this riff, we're gonna cut it short each time. So the first time we do three, one, two, three. Three, four, three, four, six, three, four, three, four, six, oh, one, four, five, three, four, five, and then this descent. So just a regular bar chord on the third fret of the A. And then three, five, six, nine. And then eight, eight, ten, eleven. And we've got this section here. So that's five, eight, five, eight, five. Five, seven, seven, five, five. Okay, and this next one's a stretch. Three, five, seven, four, and if you can, get that three in there also. I don't even know if I can do that. I don't know. It's that two. Then same shape, but we move up to the sixth fret, so. That chord progression right there is the same chord progression being played underneath the solo, but you're just gonna pick the notes individually. Back to this riff, but it has a different ending. It goes like this. So that ending goes like this. Four, five, four, five, three, five, three, two, four, two. is a bar chord. Down to the one. To an open palm mute. Then we've got speed picking. It's gonna be five, four, five, seven, eight, seven, eight, ten. And then we're gonna string bend up to the eleven and then back to ten. Part. Three, five, three, five, eight, six, eight, six, eight, six, eight, eleven, nine, eleven, nine. Then 
some more speed picking. Nine, six, ten, nine, six. <laughs> And you go to that 10 on the A string, and then you repeat. So it starts with a little trill on the 5 and 6, and we're going to go back and forth from the 8 and 5, and then we're going to descend 6, 5, 3, 2. Got this chord. So that's two, four, three, three. We're gonna play that same shape and we're gonna go one, two, three. Just like that. Then we play it again, but on the fourth fret with a chromatic descent. So five, four, three, two. One, two, three. Back to the fifth fret, but with a chromatic descent. Six, five, four, three, two, three, four, and then back to the fourth fret with a chromatic descent. Five, four, three, two, one, two, three. And then at this point, we're back at the main riff, but there's a slight variation. So when you get back to this part. Notice I left out the tremolo pick on the three and four. For whatever reason, they, they leave it out at that part. Same riff, but. We just come right back up there. Uh, and then we get to the ending. We just end with the bar chord on the eighth fret. And that's how you play coldly calculated design.